Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with an amended quick tips tutorial brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. I cut off Ferris wheel and the other side uh, on the right. This will make it a lot easier for us to make the changes that we wanted to do. So the difference in the last photo was just changing the color of the background. And now we're going to replace the whole background, but we want to leave the flags colorful. So in order to do that, we're going to take this layer, but we're going to right click and duplicate like we did before. So we still have a duplicate. And now I'm going to turn off the duplicate in the front. And now in the original on the back layer here, we're going to cut everything out and leave just the colored flags. In order to do that, we're going to take the eraser and we'll take a small soft tip, let's say about a five point or so and we want to basically cut out the flags that we're going to use later as our color additional flags so we're going to do this from here to here and then cut the pull out so all we got is the flag and do the same thing with this one and this is with a soft tip eraser and I believe that's the last one here so now what we want to do is cut these out individually. I will just take the polygon. I'll right click and hit cut. And see it made a new layer. I'm going to go to the next one over, go down to the bottom layer and cut this one out. And I could just kind of do this and hit the shift and it'll create multiple. So now I got two of them. And finally, the last one here, if I right click on one of those and hit cut, it made a whole nother layer. So now I got all five flags on one layer. Now we could use that later on. So now I can get rid of this back colorful layer by right clicking and hitting delete. Let's go back to the other first copy on the top right here and get rid of the sky and because the sky is kind of blotchy i'm going to go ahead and just do it by hand by same way as we did with the flags and i'll use the erase tool and i'm just shift clicking to erase everything and remember what we what is left is what's going to be a silhouette And it is a time-consuming process, but totally worth it when you're creating artwork like this. Now, of course, you can always use the magic tool, but it's not going to be as sharp and accurate as doing it by hand when the photo is not so sharp as this one is. And now that I cut out the whole foreground, I'm going to take the polygon tool and just basically trace everything that I cut out to get rid of the sky. And now that I'm getting close to finishing with the polygon, I'm going to come over to the end here or the beginning, double click. I'm going to zoom out to show you what happens. As soon as I hit delete, boom, the whole sky is gone. And all we got to do is grab us a nice sky and drag that into our project. As soon as I let that go, it's going to go exactly, hopefully where we want it. It's huge. So I can zoom out and bring it in a little bit smaller. And what is it going to look like? Let's go ahead and drag that behind. And boom, now we have the background wherever we want it. We could bring it down a little bit. We could take it out all together, the ocean, or just bring it up a tiny bit. We kind of like that there. But we still have this foreground that's not a full silhouette. So we still have to take out the color. We did on the last video, we did this first, but it doesn't matter what order we do it in. We grab that front layer, go to enhance, go to color, remove color. Now it's black and white. 
Now we do it again, go to Enhance, go to Lighting, Brightness and Contrast, and we're going to make it all the way contrasty like that, making it a true silhouette. Right around there. And that looks good. That looks great. This is before, after, before, after. I'm going to hit OK. And all we got to do is take the, the bottom layer of the flags. It's actually now at the top. Turn it on. And there we got our colorful flags. Now we can leave the background, if we like it, color like that. Or we can actually take the color, go to Enhance, Color, Remove Color, and make that background black and white. And that's all there is to it. Hey, this is Rich calling it quits for this tutorial saying over and out.